Your name is? Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer, tell everybody in 30 seconds what we're doing. Um, I have chronic upper cervical tenderness. Surprise, surprise. Um, right now I have a headache. Okay. And um, my left SI is feeling strained. Okay. Uh, no big recent accidents, no trauma, just a lot of uh, repetitive strain, stress, okay. posture. Okay, why don't you lay down? Okay, so here we go again. One minute nociceptive exam, okay? Uh, here we go. So starting out here, she's got restricted bilateral left versus right SI, coccyx on the left, more restricted than on the right. Do you ever have a tailbone injury? No. Not that you know of? No, okay. She's got, uh, there's, do you see the arch in her back there? You see that? See how she, <coughs> talk about a reflex. Um, anyway, so that's left sided, not right, agreed? Okay. Here, here's, here's a way of checking the diaphragm. Look at this. Those that left will be sorry they didn't see this. You want to find out what's going on with the diaphragm? Do this. Now, if that's ticklish, just go a little deeper. You can go through the tickle, and then it won't be ticklish anymore. And if you come to the other side, if they're ticklish, you tell me why they wouldn't react on the other side. Are people ticklish just on one side? No. You can do them both at the same time. And you see that? What would you call that? I mean, that's a reflex, isn't it? I mean, you know, call it what it is. That's a startle. And it was a withdrawal. She tried to get away as best she could. She can't go through the table, but she, she, put, she gave it her best shot. Okay. All right, so here we go. A little bit of restriction here in the sternum. She's got a little bit in the rotator cuffs bilaterally. You feel that here? She feels that upper T-spine, right side. You feel that on the right compared to the left. Okay, cervical thoracic junction, more tender on the right. Definitely. Here's lig ligamentum nuke. Do you feel that here? Can you hear it crunch? Mm -hmm. Everybody up here so far has had a crunchy ligamentum nuke. It feels just like the levator where you feel the crepitus on the levator. If you go strumming across the ligamentum nuke, you're going to feel crunches. Crunch, crunch. Now you know that means there's a direct influence on dura coming through that ligamentum nuke. I just showed you the research on that. Okay, here we go here. She's got suboccipital involvement here. She's got occipitalis on the right, not on the left. She's got bilateral, do you feel that here? Mm -hmm. Crepitus in the temporoparietalis, which is a epicranial muscle. And she also has it in her temporalis muscle as well. And she has some muscle activity in her masseters. Do you, you grind your teeth, clench your teeth? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was not a hard one to figure out. Mm -hmm. The most missed muscle group that everybody in medicine misses, and I'll bet you're in that category, is we don't call a spade a spade when we palpate the masseters. When we palpate masseters, we should go as deeply into those as we do other muscles in the body. I have people feel their biceps, and then I have them palpate their masseters, mm. and you feel how crunchy those are? Yeah. How, how, how tight they are? I mean, this is trigeminal, folks. What did I say about dura innervation? Trigeminal. You tell me you're not upregulating dura when you've got that kind of muscle activity. And trigger points, AJ. Trigger points in the masseter <coughs> that are there 24-7. And nobody pays much attention to that. Because when the dentists check them, it's just kind of light palpation. I don't know what you do, but when I say to the patients, don't anybody ever check you? The dentist looks like, oh yeah, they palpated that. Well, they didn't go deep enough. You should be able to go right into the masseter with a lot of pressure, and you should not feel like you got a pain reflex response from that. Okay? Ready to go treatment? I'm ready. Okay, she's ready. She sounds ready. Okay, here we go. You can't see it, but we're doing the hair pull on the other side. Don't let me move your head here. You got it? Got it? Mm -hmm. Don't let me don't let me move. I'm doing the hair pull on the other side. Why am I doing it on the right side? Because she has right side involvement. More than left. Okay. There we go. Eyes closed for me. Closed. Keep them closed. Put your finger between your teeth. Uh, let's go this way. There. Keep it there. Fingers out of the way if you would. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. I bet you don't think of the mylohyoid every day, do you? Be honest. 
I sure didn't. I sure didn't. But isn't it nice there's a muscle that can downregulate activity in the master and temporalis, isn't it? And it's right there and it's convenient. Okay? Now, let's go back. Let's see, let me check your hands. I want to see if you got anything here. Nope. Nope. Okay, here we go. What's this feel like now? Seeing as tender. Here? Not tender at all there. Here? Remember this? Wow. <laughs> Remember this? Yeah. Do you all remember this? Yeah, that's a change. She said that's a big change. I think everybody saw that and thought the same thing too. Here? Better. Okay, so eyes are closed. I'm going to push on your shoulders. Don't let me push down. You remember seeing this one on Kathy? So I'm going to try and hold them up. No, no, no. Don't let me push down. I'm going to try to push down. You just resist me when you feel that, okay? Close your eyes. No fair peeking. <laughs> Patients try to get the jump on you. <laughs> now let go. Okay, good. How's that feel now? Better. Good. Remember the ligament of nuke before? Mm -hmm. What's that feel like? Better. Here? Here? Still a little tender there, but much less. Remember this? Remember how crunchy you were here? A little bit going on here we need to correct here don't let me turn your head don't let me turn your head see I got some questions for you where do they talk about what happens when you tap a muscle at the origin and insertion you show me you give me any reference on that what happens when you tap a muscle at its origin and insertion at the same time what effect does that have and what if the muscle doesn't have a tendon then what? Do you have Golgi tendon organs in a muscle if you don't have a tendon? <coughs> Isn't that an interesting question? I mean, you know, it, 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 suboccipital muscles don't have any tendons. Look it up in the textbooks. There are no tendons. It's muscle fibers directly into bone without a tendon. All right, now this was her masseters a minute ago. What's that like now? Better. Good. Sit up, see how you feel. I'm s I still feel like a little soreness here that's kind of always okay, come there. Here, come here, come here. Well, give, give me a percentage. I'd say 55. Here, here, let's do one more thing. Somebody asked about home exercises. Mm -hmm. I know, it was you. Okay, take your thumbs, touch the little fingers. All of you do this right now. You get a bonus tonight. You get a free home exercise. <laughs> Teach this to patients, try this on yourself, this will downregulate infraspinatus teres minor like you would not believe. This is part of what she still has going on, that's one of the reasons she's only 65% improved. You're just touching, you're just maintaining contact. What are you doing? Opposing. Only humans can do that. Arms crossed, PNF pattern, diagonal, don't strain, just nice and easy, put them there. Now relax, let go. Here we go. What's that feel like now? Better. Better. Sit back up. A lot better. Now, here's, here's what you need to understand. What we won't know is how these people are tomorrow. They're, everybody that's going to be treated is going to let me know how they're doing. I need to have that feedback because somebody up here asked about long-term results. If it's autonomic nervous system related and she has an awful lot of stuff that's driven by dura, uh, influence structures. She just told us that. She clenches her teeth. We know she's facilitating trigeminal activity. Yeah. She'll be better tomorrow than she is today. Better tomorrow than she is today. Would I shoot for 100%? No. Because I have to let the body go through the changes it's going to make on its own. Mother Nature is now going to join in. You do need to learn how to downregulate jaw muscle activity. Tell, yeah. Here's what you do. Watch me here. Take your knuckles like this. Tap under here like this. <coughs> Do I need to be biting something? No, or anything? no. You can put something here if you're worried about clicking your teeth together. But otherwise, you just tap under here. You come up with your knuckles, and you're tapping on the mylohyoid, okay. which will reciprocally inhibit masseter and temporalis. Is that a deal or what? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there you go.